Well, hello folks and welcome back to Saxony as Chief Sigurd the Wise with a dynasty of the Theod... Theodorising. Oh my god, I can't pronounce it. It's been a while. I've uh, been playing a lot of Hearts of Iron 4 as some of you may know, but I really want to continue this. We have an invasion prepared for East Francia uh, because it's a little boy king. Uh, he's a Jewish of the Karling dynasty. And, uh, well, no other Catholics uh, are going to help him, because he's not Catholic. Um, so that's going to be amazing. Now, I don't really know what to do. Because, you see, I'm very used to being Norse-Norse, as in the culture Norse, so being a Viking. Uh, I, I totally forgot that being a Saxon, uh, we may be Germanic pagan, but we don't actually... We can't actually take our ships, our long ships, and uh, kill a bunch of people. So, after we're done with this, I don't, I don't know. Should we keep expanding? I know we do need to uh, reform, or if, uh, get a reformed religion. And even though I do love Germanic, I think I've played a little bit too much of that, and I want to try something different. I've been thinking we should either go Orthodox or maybe um, Sunni or. Uh, Shiite or something. I've never actually played as Muslim. We could even try to go Hindu or Buddhist, but that's a uh, oh, pretty far away. And again, we're not Norse, so we can't do much about that. But something I do want to try uh, is uh, Spain. I want to, you know, I haven't t played in this region in a long time, and I've never actually played as. Uh, Portuguese, so you might want to become Portuguese. I don't know why. It's, I just feel like that that would be interesting. If we do become Muslim, though, it'd be quite fitting with the uh, the shield here. Uh, not because you know uh, it depicts an animal, because since most uh, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but most Muslim uh, or Islamic uh, branches are actually iconoclastic, so you know you wouldn't be able to uh, to do draw an animal or a person, but uh, we can, or, and that that's not as strict as it sounds, but, uh, you know, it's in certain regions, but uh, it's a black horse, it's a Mustang, and I think that, that'd that be pretty cool, especially if we go to the Iberian Peninsula. Large numbers of adventurers, Carls have arrived to attack the Boy King. I don't know why I'm saying Boy King, I mean, there was always a bunch of Boy Kings, but, um... I've heard persistent rumors of peasants and travelers that, uh, the White Stag is round. Hmm, I must send people out to find it. Oh, look at that, free ships, that's that's nice, thanks. Oh my god, I didn't notice this before, maybe I did, but it's uh, Joffroy, the boy king. Uh, so it's like Joffrey. Uh, I wonder, does what's his personality? He doesn't have a personality yet, okay. Cool. Gunther, yeah. Oh, I clicked it away just as uh, this thing came up, let's see. Yeah, of course, treat my son. Oh, I totally forgot, the invasion thing is actually, we can declare war at, uh, against them at any moment. Huh? I was waiting, uh, I don't know why. Wait, why are there so many no votes? What the hell? Are you stupid? There we go, much better. Oh my god, what the hell? What is this? What is this crap? Oh shit. Uh... 40. He feasts in Valhalla at age 40, died of poor health. A humble man, he never wanted uh, anyone to make a fuss over his accomplishments. A godly man, Sigurd is with Tyr now. Uh, Valdemar is suspected to be possessed by a demon sent by Yorug of Under. The Gulis will do their best to rein him in. Long live. Holy crap. We lost a lot of stuff here. Um, but, uh, fine. Oh my god, I actually lost against some peasants. Oh, how dare they. A preacher in the service of King Joffrey of East Francia. Yeah. Hmm, no. I mean, if it was uh, Catholic, I might even consider it. But since you're Jewish, it won't really give me any benefit. I mean, everyone's just gonna holy war me. Ah, oh, thank you, the East Franken revolt is over. And now we can actually take all of the land. Ooh, another saint's finger. Okay, we have quite a few of those now, right? Two. Finger of St. John's and then just sem some saint. Oh my god. My, uh... 
half brother, my cousin, he's lost so much land already. Remember this? These should be ours. But you know, whatever. I I think we're we're gonna abandon our eastern projects and we're gonna focus on uh, western and central Europe instead. Well, hello there. Six years of war. Uh, mostly waited because uh, I wanted all of East Francia, not just uh, the non-rebellious part. So uh, here we go. Some money as well. Good. Boom. Saxony. A defensive pact. Are you really that scared? That's cute. Mines. Ooh. Ooh. And your Fraticelli. What the hell? What happened here? Oh, it's Aquitaine. Okay. Interesting. Hey, I'm going to give you the High Chiefdom of Alemannia. Uh, I think that will be good and you get the lower titles. Perfect. I hate how I have to uh, convince my council before I give away titles. It's so stupid. Uh, but yes, let's uh, reward Countess Gerberga of Bam Bamberg, who just turned 16 with the, the title of Duchess. Ooh, Belong the mu mu mutilator is touching on the question of heresy. We should not speak of this. Uh, I don't know. I st mm. Yeah, but I'm not gonna join. I I don't feel like like doing hellish things again. A heavy box has been brought before me. Uh, Merton has finished his work, and the crown jewels are completed. While I expect no artifact of legend, I'm still excited to see this handiwork. I did pay only 50 ducats actually for this, so let's see what he brings out. Adds iron crown to the treasury and engraved sword. Let's see that. Uh, indulgent warrior, what is this? Becoming just. Okay, okay, let's see. So, ooh, engraved sword. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, can I wear this? Oh, no, it's already equipped. Okay, good. It's automatically. Looks like it's automatically... Oh, why can I... That's very strange. Why am I equipped with two things? Okay, if I unequip this... Oh, I can I can equip two things? Okay, equip that and equip that. Okay, fine. I just wish you could actually see the crown on my head. That, that would be pretty awesome. Time to go for seduction. I really want to bang... Um, Duchess Gerberga. I think it might be a good way to become a Catholic, actually. So, let's do that. Oh, right. She's uh, homosexual, so that doesn't work, unfortunately. I have the Great Pox. God damn it. Oh, this is actually bad, because uh, when we die, we'll lose a bunch of stuff. Excellent symptom treatment. Thank you, Vladislav. Now, <sighs> hmm, is there any way... Maybe raiding and then taking a Catholic as a concubine. Maybe I, I spend too much time in front of Crusader Kings, but this girl is beautiful. This woman, rather, 27. Fantastic. Let's uh, raid that province. As long as you know what you're doing, come on, treat this great pox. Please, I, I really need this uh, for a game to go well. Ah, oh, fuck. The Magyars are now our allies. Wonderful. Oh, what is this? Sinister forces. Ooh. Oh, thank you. A priest. Garibald. Ooh. Okay, remember this. And he's a uh, learning 17, so this guy is really good. Uh, and out of patience. So, you know what? Tell us more about Jesus. You want to lower tribal organization? Are you insane? We're trying to create a realm here. Adalgar has fallen under the sway of Garibald. To each their own, I think. To each their own. Ooh, my daughter has become a Catholic. You know, whatever. It's fine. Oh, yes. Lydia has been imprisoned by us. Uh, we will take her as a concubine. Where is she? Lydia, there we go. Take concubine. Yes. Garibald has continued preaching his religion in Anhalt, and he seems to be gathering a larger or and larger audience. After listening to one of his sermons, you have to admit that uh, the new faith may have some advantages. 
It's time to embrace God. We lose 500 prestige, but gain 500 piety. And uh, all of our children become Catholic. Um, a priest named Voltred appears in your court. And uh, you, your closest family will convert to the new faith. Huh. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Boom. And the UI is now Catholic. Uh, Catholic isn't, you know, the most exciting of religions in the game, since uh, there are f quite a few I haven't tried, and I probably want to try them. But, you know, it's a first step, and uh, we need it in order to actually become uh, feudal. A Volrad. 29 skill? Holy crap, you are insane. Master Seducer 2 and Master Theologian. Wow. And now we can get Tribal Organization Maximum, and we can finally become, or soon enough, we can become um, a feudal kingdom. The King of Croatia wants a marriage. Uh, sure. A Carling also wants a marriage. <laughs> yes! There we go. Absolute Tribal Organization. Are we ready? Adopt feudalism. Gaboom! And look at that, we have a crown. We are King Valdemar the, the Victorious of Saxony. That is a title. And he did all of this uh, having the Great Pox. So that's pretty incredible, I'd say. Having bribed the only vassal who had negative opinion, we can now... Uh, wait. Come on. That's not tr Or What? Okay, vassals. Opinion. Cannot have negative opinion. Oh, there we go. Ooh, right, you're imprisoned. You know what? Let's do, um, elective monarchy. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Actually, do we have to have supporters? Not really. No. Let's go. A matrilineal marriage to the Prince of France? Huh. Okay. My cousin Eckbert keeps asking me to press his claims on Pomerania for the glory of our dynasty. Uh, prepare for war. It's not a bad idea. The French want an alliance. Sure, but then you'll, ha you'll have to join the war. There we go. Off for peace. And, uh... Wait, why did this go to him? Oh, right, okay. But when he dies, though, he might become... Can we, s we can still vote for him as the... Oh, wait, we can't. Please say we can. That would be stupid. Oh, my God. Oh my god. No, what have we done? Okay, I need to kill your son. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, uh, this is... This is not good. We're in a bunch of wars that I don't really know... ...are about. It's just a bunch of people that call this in. But yeah, what we did in Pomerania here was not exactly what I... Imagined. Uh, I knew that when we were called into the war, or requested, that the idea was that, oh, we'll put this guy on the throne. But I was, uh, since we have elective monarchy, I thought it was still possible to vote for him. Uh, I don't know why he disappeared as an option. Like, I can vote for uh, the king of Aquitaine, Aquitaine, for king of Saxony, but I can't vote for my own family member? That's weird. So, my vassal in the su southern part of the realm, uh, Duchess Berthelhead, wants my son to take over from me. Basically, she wants me to abdicate in favor of my son, who's already the heir. And if she hasn't noticed, I'm a lunatic who has a great pox, so I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna die anyway, so what's the rush? Uh, but you know what? I'll, uh... Hmm... Will I be blackmailed? Will I not be blackmailed? Uh, you know what? Let's, uh... What happens? Witkin is no longer court chaplain. No longer spymaster. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I'll say, oh, uh, you know what? I'll not be blackmailed. Never. I mean, I'm too glorious of a person to just give up my realm like that. I, I converted our realm to Catholicism. I, I oversaw us becoming a feudal monarchy. Like, why do you want me to abdicate? Another war? God damn it. God damn it. 
Ooh, the king of Bavaria knows that the child uh, that his wife carries is actually mine. How embarrassing. Your horse has always struck you with the... Uh, as being dependable. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what position did he take? Chancellor. I have made a friend. Oh. You made a friend. Cool. I like that uh, my subject's opinion goes down if I imprison my uh, my horse. Simon. Let's see. Since you are... Uh, you won't actually have a claim to the kingdom, though, but I will uh, legitimize you. Relinquish the title. Oh my god. Another revolt. Holy crap. My world is falling. Whoa. Wait. Causes belly no longer valid. Well, that's... At least one of them disappeared. That's good. Oh, right. Yes. Yeah, since we're Catholic, there are new orders. that We have the... Uh, Med Benedictine Order, which is an old monastic community of the Ora et Labora, meaning pray and labor as they, their motto. Uh, black Habits, they worship God and find purpose in prayer and quiet contemplation. Uh, we have the Dominican Order, uh, are able to listen to the confessions of any Christian, dressed in white and black. They lead holy inquisitions charged with a mission to identify heretics. Hmm, not pursue material wealth, but strive to to be a seeker of truth. We have the Hermetic Society. Um, deeply hidden secrets about this world that can be uncovered. And we have Lucifer's Zone. I think mm, we can't actually... Oh, our learning is uh, bad. But you know what? Let's um, let's learn about the Benedictine, Benedictine Order. Let's see. It's, uh, it's a great honor. Converses. Yes. No, white piece, never. 100%. There we go. And now let's move north. Uh, we lost Ulm in the process, though, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but that's only because she rebelled. It's not really my fault uh, for her. Her stupidity is not my fault. We'll need to hire some mercs, though. Uh, otherwise, I'll lose this war. Uh, but you know what? Can you walk around? Perfect. Okay, heir to the kingdom of Austrasia. What the hell is that? Uh, kingdom of Austrasia, do you... Oh! Oh, you mean Lorraine. Okay, alright. Sweden has declared war. Uh, Oldenburg, okay. Donate your charity. Um... How does that work? Uh, that's a powerful lorry. Yeah, but do I just click the mission? Donate to charity, a hundred gold. You know what? Okay, fine. I only did my duty. Uh, the wars never stop, but there's always someone. This guy declared war with a host for that entire region there. So stupid. So stupid. Theology focus. Hmm, not a bad idea. Let's go. One last battle and we will have peace. Ah, thank you, thank you. There we go. Okay, so, what I've been meaning to do, though, is demand religious conversion. Uh, what about you? Do you want to convert? It'd be very nice. Ooh, opinion. You know what? Then, uh, I'll just give you stuff to convert. And you, have you converted yet? No, you haven't. Demand conversion, yes. Claim Pomerania. Yeah, let's do that. Oh no. They took the Iron Crown. The Magyars. Oh, you bastards. Why are you running away? God damn it. God damn it. Well, we won't lose any more because we have the French on our side. An emissary from Pope... Uh, Stephanus the fourth has arrived in your court according to the emissary holy father is concerned about our employment of heathens as advisors Imprison the heathen. We'll do it Offer oh, peace and force demands and voila look at that. How old am I? 60 and I still have Great pox that is incredible. I've uh, been alive for a while now uh, What still worries me is that it says that I'm gonna lose a bunch of shit which 
Yeah, it's not very good. Oh, wow! We actually took all of this as well, apparently. Um, because we can create two titles there. That, that's nice. I think, however, that that will be a good wrap for the episode. We've played uh, about 30 years, a little bit more than 30 years, which is uh, okay. I mean, we've seen most of the life of Valdemar the Victorious. Uh, we don't want to pass him, him to pass away just yet. But, uh, yeah, it's been a pretty successful episode, if you ask me. And I'm looking forward to continuing this. We'll see if we can uh, still achieve our dreams of going over to um, Portugal. Or forming Portugal, rather. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. It really, really, really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click that little bell button for instant notifications on my uploads. And uh, I'll see you later. Farewell.